Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet Tuesday Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you the basis to make good old southern gravy in a cast iron skillet. So y'all stay tuned. Now I'm sure there are a thousand different variations on this basic uh, gravy. This is the way I've always taught to do it. And this is a lot of, you know, uh, you know, there's bunches of variations. This is my old uh, granny, grandma. She, this is the way she did it, and it's delicious. You just need your cast iron. You're going to need some fat in that. You know, we got some bacon drippings going to go in there. But, like, uh, you just use whatever fat's left over from whatever you cook, whether that was chicken, whether that was sausage, whether it was uh, ground meat or steak. It doesn't matter. Use the drippings that you got left. And if you don't have enough, we'll add, just add a little bit of, uh, of butter. So then you need a little bit of flour, some salt and pepper, and we're going to throw some onions in ours just to perk it up. But throw whatever you want in it. This is just showing you how to make the basic gravy. So you can do this anywhere. You can do this on your induction burner in the house or a campfire or a propane burner, just like we're here doing today in this terribly windy day. You're probably going to hear some wind noise. Nothing I can do about that. And we're going to go ahead and add just enough flour to soak up the amount of oil that we have in the pan and the more oil you got the more gravy is going to make and i want it i want to put just enough in there to keep it flowing i don't want it to clump all up i want it to kind of dissolve in the oil just like that okay and you're going to keep that moving because your pan's hot and we're going to toast that flour off just a little bit and this goes really really fast okay let's see if we can turn our fire down without it blowing out but we want to keep that moving around let's see my pan's a little hotter over there because of the wind and you'll start to smell that flour toast it gives off a very almost a nutty smell so good You want to keep moving that pretty constantly. Make sure all the parts of your flour have a little bit of color on them. If you want completely white gravy, just leave it in there about 30 seconds on a little lower flame and it won't toast your flour as much and you'll have a much lighter covered colored gravy. Now here's where the magic happens. All right, I'm gonna pour in cold liquid and that'll immediately start thickening. As it comes up to a boil, you wanna keep it scraped up off the bottom. All right, it's starting to get to about the right consistency. I'm gonna put onions in it. You don't have to, you put whatever you want. You put a lot of stuff or you can put nothing at all. I just saw pre sauteed those over in the same pan we cooked the bacon in. And now, uh, you know, this kind of gravy really needs pepper just to, to kick it off, you know. Some pepper. Definitely gonna need a little salt. Do these things to taste. Got just a couple more minutes there. And it'll thicken up to get it down as thick as you like it. That smells awesome, and this is a great cheap way to make any meal go a lot farther. That was probably why it was invented to begin with. If you guys like these little tips for here from the Backwoods Gourmet channel, uh, leave us a comment below. If you hate it, leave us a comment also. But 
Till then, we'll see you next Tuesday.